On Monday, Novak does cardiovascular conditioning and core strength. So in the morning, start with cardio. 30 minutes of jog or run at a moderate pace. Then it takes 15 minutes of high intensity intervals training. Sprinting, this is sprinting on a tennis court or treadmill. On the afternoon, Novak does some core workouts. These are planks, which uh, it goes for three sets of one to two minutes each. Then it does some Russian twist, which, which goes for three sets of 20 reps. So you can use a medicine ball um, or a weight. And then he does some leg raises, which are three sets of 15 reps. What are the benefits of this workout on Monday? For cardiovascular conditioning, it improves overall endurance and stamina, which is crucial for long tennis matches. Then for the core strength, it enhances stability and power in Djokovic shots and movement on the tennis court. On Tuesday, uh, it's uh, strength and agility training for Novak. And uh, in the morning, it begins with strength training which are medicine ball throws, take uh, three sets of eight to 10 reps. Then it goes for deadlift, um, which take uh, three sets of eight to 10 reps. And then it goes for bench presses, which are three sets of eight uh, to 10 reps. Then on the afternoon, uh, Novak does some agility and footwork, which are comprised of ladder drills, which take to 10 to 15 minutes. Then it goes for corn drills, which takes uh, 15 to 20 minutes. What a benefit of Tuesday uh, workout. For strength and training, it increases Djokovic's overall strength, helping him to generate more power in his shorts and maintain endurance throughout matches. For agility training, it improves his quickness, agility, and lateral movement, essential for precise court coverage. What does Novak do on Wednesday? Uh, tennis practice and recovery. So in the morning, it begins with tennis practice, which is an on-court tennis practice focusing on technique, uh, drills, and point play uh, for two to three hours. Then on afternoon, it's a, those active recovery workouts is kind of comprised of yoga or stretching session to improve his flexibility and aid recovery. Uh, then he, he goes for 20, 30 minutes of swimming or light cycling. What are the benefits of Wednesday workouts? First thing, the tennis practice. This focus on honing Djokovic's tennis skills, including his technique and uh, strategy. And the second thing about its active recovery, which uh, aids muscular recovery, reduce the risk of injury and maintain flexibility for peak performance. Thursday, cardio and speed training. So, uh, in the morning, start with cardio. This take 45 minutes of moderate uh, rest, uh, paced rain, paced run. Then he takes uh, 45 minutes of hill sprints or stair running. On the afternoon, uh, he goes for speed um, and agility. This are uh, comprised of shuffle, rounds of three sets uh, of 10 reps. Then he goes for lateral speed drills, which take up to 15 to 20 minutes, give or take. Anyway, so here are the benefits of Thursday cardio and speed training. For cardio training, it boosts cardiovascular, uh, Djokovic cardiovascular fitness, allow him to maintain a high level of plenty throughout extended matches. Uh, the speed and agility, it enhances his speed, reflexes, and court coverage, making him a more competitive in test court. On Friday, Djokovic, uh, Djokovic begins his day with strength and tennis specific training. So in the morning, he starts with strength training first. 
These are pull-ups, which takes three sets of 12 reps. And then he does some bench presses. These are three sets of eight to 10 reps. Then he goes for medicine ball slams. Yeah, these are three sets of 15 reps. On Friday afternoon, Jovic does some tennis specific drills. And these tennis specific drills can be footwork drills in the court or movements. This can be serve and volley practice. What's the benefit of Friday uh, workouts? From strength training, it builds, you know, it builds muscular strength. That will aid Jovic in generating power for his shots and preventing uh, fatigue. For the tennis specific drills, this can refine his tennis specific skills, including footwork and match tactics. Now, Novak, uh, on Saturday, he does some tennis specific, a uh, tennis practice and endurance. Sorry. So in the morning, he begins with tennis practice. This is an on court practice which focuses on match situation and strategy. Uh, it takes for takes him two to three hours. And then on the that day on Saturday afternoon, he goes for endurance. This can be ten wheel session or bike ride. And these are very endurance. Can they go to one to two hours? This aim to build the endurance. So, just the forethought. What are the benefits of this tennis practice and the endurance? They focus on uh, game-specific scenarios and strategy, enhancing Djokovic's uh, ability to adapt various match situation. The endurance part of training is, training is to build the stamina needed for intense and prolonged matches. The seventh day, Sunday. Uh, it, for Novak, it's a rest and recovery day. Uh, this can be a complete of a, a rest day to allow the body to recover. Focus on, uh, on stretching, uh, from rolling. This can, another thing you can do is relaxation, uh, some relaxation stick like sleeping. Yeah, yeah. The good thing about the Sunday, the rest and recovery, it allows him Djokovic to heal, repair, and recharge. Also preventing uh, overtraining and pr promoting uh, the longevity of his career. So, just a, a quick reminder. This plan provides a saturated approach of Djokovic training regimen. It's strategically, strategically targeting, targeting different aspects of his fitness and tennis skills. The balance of strength and agility and endurance and recovery ensures that he ensures he maintains a competitive edge in professional tennis. Remember that individual Lies training and consultation with a fitness expert are in session for fine tuning the plan to meet Djokovic's specific needs and goals.